Miss Ariel here and you clicked on the craft box and this week we are making a rain cloud. How cute is our rain cloud? So since we talked about rain this week in springtime and how we need the rain for the flowers and the trees to grow so we can welcome in a new season, this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to show you how we made this craft this week. Okay, so to make our raindrop in your bag, you're going to have your raindrops, of course, the cotton balls to make your cloud, and the strings that is going to make the rain fall down from our cloud. So, of course, the first thing we have to do is color our raindrops, and you can color whatever color you like. So I'm going to color mine, and then I will be back to show you what I've done. Okay. So I colored my four raindrops, a little purple hue and some blue hues, because it's gonna look like rain, right? And something I forgot to tell you that's in your bag is of course the sheet that you're going to glue everything on. So it's blue, so you might wanna think about that when you color your raindrops. So what we're gonna do next is glue on our string. So you have to glue them at different lengths. That way the raindrops look like they're falling down at each other. So on your sheet, what I'm gonna do is I'm taking sepia and purple. Of course, you can use whatever glue you have at home. And I'm just gonna put long stripes of glue down. And I will show you how I am making my string a little bit longer. Because what we'll do then is we're gonna glue our raindrops on top of the ends of the string to make it look like that it's raining. And so you can make sure you put as much um, glue as you need to. You can put them at varying lengths. Oops. Make sure though you put your string on the glue. I kind of just, it's not sticking very well. Because Miss Ariel did not put enough glue onto her space. And you want to make sure that you space out your strings. That way your raindrops look like they're falling. Oops. And I'll show you a little trick that I have with my string. So after you've glued your string like this, it looks a little bit funny, huh? Because the next part is we're going to have to put our cloud together. So what's important is to make sure that we connect all the strings to the cloud. So I'm going to be putting some of my cotton balls over top of this. So it's gonna be a different shape type of cloud. That way, it looks like it's being covered with the string falling out of the cloud, okay? So you wanna make sure that you put a bunch of glue, of course. And of course, make sure that you put enough glue that way it holds the cotton ball. Cause if not, you're gonna look pretty kind of silly, huh? With it all over the place, am I right? And you can put as much of the cotton ball as you would like on your string. You can put it around the string. It's really up to you. That's just my little helpful hit for you when you go to put all your good cotton balls on to make your cloud. And you want to make sure they're a little bit close to each other. That way they look like they're one piece instead of a bunch of other pieces. So you see how I've covered my string so far? So it looks like a cute little round cloud. And you can make your cloud however big you want, whatever um, height or length, that part's up to you. Just as much as the cotton balls you have, go ahead and use all of them if you like. Or if you need more, you can always ask mom and dad and see if you have any extra lying around at home. And then, it might look a little something like this. <laughs> How cute is this cloud? It actually turned out really cute, huh? So then the next part is, of course, is we have to glue our raindrops on. So you'll take your raindrop, you'll put glue on the back, of course, and then we're gonna glue the tip, the pointed tip onto the string like so, and then it's gonna look like the raindrops are falling. Now it looks like my string is a little bit too close to each other. So you can always turn your raindrop if you like, because sometimes like we know in the story that we read about the biggest puddle in the world, sometimes the rain always, it just falls so much. It's everywhere. So that's, and it goes from the wind too. So we just want to make sure 
that we have all of our raindrops on there for our rain cloud, which is gonna look so cool once we're done. Because if we don't have the rain, then it's not gonna welcome in spring and the trees and the flowers aren't gonna grow. None of the animals will have any water. Uh-oh, this is looking pretty, pretty snazzy, if you ask me. And you can put as many raindrops, uh, whichever order that you like to at home. It's really up to you. You get to use all your creative freedom to make your beautiful rain cloud. Oh, see how mine overlapped a little bit? Yours can definitely do that too. So this is our final product. Look at our cute little rain cloud. And maybe if you want to add a little bit of extra pizzazz, you could even draw the sun coming out to dry up all the rain clouds. That'd be really cute too. So I hope you enjoyed this craft and I hope that you enjoyed the story time that we had as well. And I will see you next week. And don't forget to click around and see what else you can find.